Good morning, it's Monday the 20th of April. There are many challenges about what's currently going on in our world, but there are some good news stories around as well. A charity that's concerned about the environment and about wildflowers in particular is suggesting there are some benefits to the current situation. The charity is called Plant Life and it's predicting a boost for wildflowers because some councils have stopped mowing verges and parks during the COVID-19 crisis. Councils are short of money and staff and so they're diverting resources into more essential services and so leaving areas of grass uncut. The charity is encouraging councils to leave them this way so that more wildflowers can grow and food and habitats can be provided for wildlife. The charity also noted that the reduction in pollution will allow some of the more delicate wildflowers to thrive and to grow. There's a reminder here that we're just one species on our rich and wonderful planet. Changes in our behaviour will enable other species to grow, grow and flourish. There are many lessons that we'll need to learn from this crisis, but perhaps one of them will be that changes to our lifestyle can make a difference. To be reminded of our need to respect our world, to value our world and to protect our world. Our need to encourage the more delicate and vulnerable parts of our creation, of God's creation and nurture and care for them. This last week, I've had some time off and had a staycation, spending most of my holiday in the garden. This has allowed me to dig up some of the grass at the front of the house to make what I hope will eventually be a new flower border and plant some fruit bushes. We've also left a patch of the garden to become a wildflower area. And one of our neighbours, has given us a bee bomb. The bee bomb contains lots of native flower seeds and particularly will support bees. The leaflet about the bee bomb says this. Your bee bombs will return 21 square feet of the 97% of wildflower habitat that Britain has lost since World War II. So the bomb will be exploded, the seeds will be sown, and hopefully it will create a wildflower friendly area in our front garden. So if you go past and think the webs have forgotten to mow the lawn, we haven't. We're just trying to do our bit to protect God's world. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for signs of hope and new life in your world. May we learn lessons from the current crisis. May we treasure your wonderful creation. May we value life in all its fullness and tread carefully on your planet. Amen. <laughs>